Hello friend, welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name is Becky if you're new and this is my mom Susan. Hi there. We are going shopping today. We are celebrating Christmas this weekend and we need to go shopping so we can get all the food prepared for this coming weekend. We're not only gonna do some shopping today but we're gonna, after we get back from the stores we're gonna go to this morning, we're actually gonna start the cooking process because we have, I think like 10 recipes we're making. Uh, yes. It's a lot. And a lot of these recipes are brand new to us. We're kind of switching up our Christmas tradition just a little bit and we're able to make one of the desserts. We're gonna celebrate some birthdays this weekend as well, not only Christmas. And so we've got some birthday cakes we're gonna to make today. And we are going to do something a little different. When uh, the kids were like in their young adult, high, high school through young adult years, we used to do Christmas afternoon hors d'oeuvres, yes. leftovers from the big dinner on Christmas Eve. We'd have leftovers and hors d'oeuvres and it was so much fun. Well, they missed that. Yeah. So because, you know, we can change it any way we want, we decided this year that we would do a couple of meats and a couple of sides and all the rest are the yummy hors d'oeuvres that they all love the finger foods and snacky stuff. Um, so that's really exciting. It's going to be kind of a retro <laughs> <laughs> to us Christmas celebration. So growing up, we always had a huge Christmas Eve dinner with mm -hmm. all the extended family at my mom's house. And then Christmas Day in the morning, we would do our immediate family like stockings and presents. And then in the afternoon, and we cinnamon did rolls. And cinnamon rolls. And then in the afternoon, we would do hors d'oeuvres and then a bunch of friends and stuff would come over and we'd play games and things like that. So we're kind of combining, because we're only doing one day's worth of Christmas celebrations. And so we're gonna combine the big feast with the hors d'oeuvres and the games. Plus, we're doing the cinnamon rolls in the morning yeah. <laughs> with just the immediate family to do our Christmas presents and stockings. So we're taking what used to be huge and condensing it down because now really everybody has their own families and they want to do their own family traditions and they all have in-laws in town. But it's still so going to be pretty big. Spend. Yeah, <laughs> it is going to be pretty big. Pretty big. So we're going to go run in and grab some breakfast and then we're going to hit two grocery stores and then we're going to go do some baking. I'm excited. It's going to be a lot of yeah. fun. You know what's good? Dad and I were in here the other day and we had a sample. It's called Stolen, oh. Stolken, something like that. Stolen. I don't see it. I must not have it today. That's my favorite right there. We've got a good breakfast in us now, and it's not Money. as it's not as busy as it was last time we were here before Thanksgiving. We're a little earlier in the day too. Yeah, that's true. It didn't open that long ago, so we've got quite a few things we're going to get at Costco. Whatever we can't get at Costco, we're going to head to Winco next and pick those things up. It's mostly a lot of dairy and the ham. I think we're mm -hmm. going to try to get here if we can. And the meats and cheeses. Yeah. We got the grocery list this time. The only thing that I forgot to bring were carrots because we're gonna be making a carrot cake that's filled with cheesecake. Am I saying that right? It's a carrot cake layer, a cheesecake layer, and a carrot cake layer on top covered in cream cheese frosting. So if you watched, Decadent. we made that chocolate cake with the cream cheese cheesecake filling. And I read one of your old comments and someone said they made that with carrot cake and- We're gonna try it. Yeah, sounds pretty incredible. That's so the we're best gonna, of all cakes. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and look for some carrots at Costco, which I'm sure they're going to have. Oh, yes, they do. We should see the toys and books, too, while we're here. Yes. Oh, you know, the toys are about gone. Oh. These look cozy, don't they? Yeah, these they? are some nice men's flannels. Oh, they're cotton and not... Uh, they oh. have some wool ones, and I couldn't imagine putting that on your neck. Your neck. These are nice, Those look at are these. Nice. 20 bucks for four with lids. And oh my gosh, it has a, it has a, a grater. Oh, that's really nice. That's cool. Didn't we buy you mixing bowls for Christmas one year? You did, yeah. and they're, they're, they didn't have lids, but they did have the rubber on the bottom. They're so the OXO that, ones that yes, I have, the white yes. ones. These are really nice. Those are nice with the lid and the grater. No, here it is. 
You can only limit, it says limit five, so you can only get five <laughs> sets of four bowls. Well, I don't know, you got a lot of laser <laughs> cooking. That's true, it would be a good Christmas gift. Oh, it would. Look at this cutting board. That's amazing. Yeah, that is probably I weighs love a 100 good pounds. Board. 19, really 59.99. It's always fun to come up to Costco this time of year because they always have some. Oh, they have Legos. Do we need they to get do. a Lego set for an activity? Um, that's cool. I actually have one left over. Oh, you do? That, that Legos are big in our family. Huge, huge, huge in our family. I do have one of the Lego friends sets that I was going to give somebody and never did. We used to do a white elephant gift card exchange, so everyone would bring a gift card. And this year we're going to do some other games. My sister is going to be responsible for, I think we have like two or three games, doesn't she have planned? Um, well, I know one for sure. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So last year we did gingerbread de decorating. With, um, made out of Pop-Tarts. Yeah, it was really cute. So I got cute. everybody's order if you ate Pop-Tarts. <laughs> I know, we were if all confused. If you ever wanted to eat a Pop-Tart, what flavor would you like so that they could maybe eat the trimmings if yeah. they wanted. Yeah, she texts the whole family, what kind of Pop-Tarts do you like? And we were all like, nobody, I would eat a Pop-Tart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the Christmas stuff that's kind of tucked in the, it's about the all corner. That's left. Yeah. We used to do a family puzzle too. This is a bigger puzzle, so this would be kind of good for the, the kids. I have one. Oh, that's that size? Uh, no, it's the family. Oh. Aunt Mary made for my mom. Oh. And it's a collage of all the family members, oh, and she wow. had it printed on a puzzle. So that's what we'll do. Oh, that'll be fun. It is fun. It will be fun. Have you thought about getting a Blackstone, Mom? I haven't because when I would need one, Emily and Brad have one. Oh. We'd be on a big camping trip, a big, large family group yeah. camping, and they bring theirs. Yeah. So I don't don't need one i keep seeing these shorts and reels of people cooking with them and they look really fun i haven't thought seriously about getting one but do you guys have a black stone so we decided uh, we, we need, need to focus and we're going to get our groceries <laughs> The way this party is going to work is we are going to have with just my siblings and their kids kind of the immediate family we're going to do a breakfast so we're going to get some items that we're going to have for breakfast so some fruit and we're gonna make cinnamon rolls and sausage. And then we're gonna open presents and do stockings with just the family, nieces and nephews and grandkids. And then we're just gonna hang out and relax. And then some extended family and friends are gonna come over and that's when we're gonna have a huge feast, hors d'oeuvres and sides and a main dish. And my sister is actually the one gonna be responsible for the main dish and my mom and I are going to be doing all the hors d'oeuvres and sides. My sister's also going to be making some different bread things. My sister's really good at making sourdough. And so she's got some really cool sourdough recipes she wants to make. And so my mom and I are just on the hunt for getting what we need for the hors d'oeuvres and for the sides. Some of these recipes we're going to be making are completely brand new to us. We've never made before. And then some of them are family favorites that, you know, it wouldn't be the holidays without those specific recipes. Thanksgiving has kind of been one of those holidays for us where the menu doesn't change that much. It's kind of the same with maybe just two or three different sides that we throw in there. But Christmas over the years has definitely evolved and changed the menu with just how life has happened. So it's been kind of fun. I do wanna mention that my mom and I do have a hosting e-course. If inviting people to your home and cooking for them seems overwhelming and stressful, my mom and I have a course where we sit down and walk you through all the aspects of hosting so that you can have a stress-free party, and I'll link that down below. Growing up, my mom always did ham at Christmas, and then she started, I don't know, a few, maybe like five years ago, we started doing prime rib. Well, some of the sons-in-laws didn't like ham. And then some of the sons-in-law don't like prime rib. So now <laughs> we are completely switching it up. And well, not really completely, but we're gonna do a ham and my sister wants to make beef burgundy. So I actually this morning dropped off two truck roasts from the cow that I had purchased and she's gonna make a braised beef burgundy. Sounds yeah. delicious. So that's brand new. We've never made this for before. And Christmas we're making before. really good yeasty rolls. So we're gonna do it so that you can have uh, sandwiches 
Yeah. With all the condiments and the cheeses and the fresh soft rolls and the beef burgundy or the ham. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, so people can make either like a beef, a shredded beef sandwich or a ham sandwich because we're going to do a ham and beef this year. So something a little different. A little fun. We're going to make this, but we're going to make it in a ball and we're going to put pecans on it too. Yummy. So we are doing a cheese ball and that's new, a new recipe to us as well. My mom growing up never made cheese balls, but I have seen so many yummy looking cheese balls online going around. And so we're going to make a cranberry pecan cheese ball. Don't we need goat cheese, mom? Uh, yeah, we, uh, well, goat cheese, I have it down here, goat cheese. Oh, it comes two in a pack. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is 16 ounce or one and a half. That is about That's a little what we over need. one and a half. Perfect. So like I mentioned, we're making the cheese ball. We are also going to be making goat stuffed dates that are wrapped in bacon. That's new. My mom and I have made bacon wrapped dates many times, but... My mom started adding goat cheese. She just had a big party a couple days ago and she made them that way and my dad loved them. So I'm excited to try that variation of bacon wrapped dates. We're also going to do jalapeno poppers and sweet pepper poppers that are a family favorite. And then one thing that I am so excited that we're gonna be making that's totally new to us this year is a sweet potato salad. It's a roasted sweet potato salad with arugula a balsamic dressing, goat cheese, pomegranates, pumpkin seeds, and it, I'm just gonna tell you, it turned out delicious. It's probably the best thing that we made on this day. And then we've got just cheese and meats that we're gonna serve and two desserts. So we're gonna do Striped Delight, which is a family favorite, and then the carrot cake that is filled with a cheesecake, and we're gonna do cheesy potatoes. Cheesy potatoes, also known as funeral potatoes, have always been a Christmas staple and they are absolutely delicious and it would not be Christmas without those. And then we need cream cheese and all the dairy products. I think we end up going through with this meal, 12 blocks of tr cream cheese. It was the year of cream cheese. It was absolutely crazy how much cream cheese we went through and this meal ends up turning out delicious. So here we're just looking at Costco at some of the other fun things they have. They had some really pretty Christmas paper plates and they had these really cute dog toys. Now I can't get my dogs these fluffy toys because then they won't be able to distinguish what's the difference between a toy and a stuffed animal, but it was kind of fun that they had all those. So still we're on the hunt for even more dairy. We need two different kinds of cheese. We are going to get an orange cheese, cheddar cheese for the cheesy potatoes because that is I always think of the way that my aunt made them was always with orange cheese so that's the way we're going to make them and then we need a white cheddar cheese for the cheese ball so here they also had some really pretty flower centerpieces that they had at Costco and then this was kind of cool we were looking at the clothes section again and they had Pendleton coats which I have never seen at Costco before and so that was kind of fun just to see all the fun things that they had at Costco to offer today. My mom's Costco has a lot more spices and even baking products. I can't get powdered sugar at my oh, Costco, which is I, kind of... Yeah, I get it here. Yeah. Do, do we want to get some here? Well, we I don't know how much I have at home. Okay. But we only need one package to make the frosting for the cake. So this is overkill. Oh, yeah. We'll just get one, one bag Winco. at Winco. Yeah. I'm impressed though with the uh, selection. They even have almond flour and gluten-free flour. D we don't need flour, right? Because no, we bought it you last. Left, yeah, you left the one, uh, about a, a one full bag, bag, I think, okay. is up in my cupboard. You don't need flour today. I do need pickles though. Pickles. Pickles. Oh no, this is a different. Oh, that looks good. A different tie. Oh, well, There's two I bottles in that? Yeah. My mom's Costco. I don't see the other peanut sauce you like. Oh, they have aardvark sauce here. They do, but it's only, it's two different kinds. Oh. And I'm not sure dad likes <laughs> the, the other one? kind. The, uh, uh, there's a habanero. Uh, I I'll don't show know. you what aardvark sauce is. It's so good. 
I think it's a if, local if you, brand, isn't it? I don't know. If you oh. like hot stuff, it's hot. It's very hot. Went somewhere. You put it up. I don't know where it went. So this is the original one. So you don't think dad would like smoky? Does he like Chipotle Tabasco? No. Then he probably, too would. He probably wouldn't like that. But that's a really good price. Yeah, it for is. Well, it's on a closeout. Awesome. Oh yeah, it's got the star on it. How about this one, Becky? You could make something oh, like that. that. Looks you do a good. rhubarb one. Roasted this raspberry is, chipotle sauce. Does that sound good? Yeah, that I sounds almost really good. I almost put that on my toast <laughs> with a piece of cheese. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> Or a grilled cheese sandwich oh, with yeah. that on it. That yeah. would be really delicious. Well, that's on a closeout for six bucks. Yep. I've heard really good things about this mayo. Oh. I haven't tried it, but I've heard good things about Japanese. it. Japanese. <laughs> I thought, when I saw the little Kewpie, I thought it was like some drive-in burger <laughs> joint, you know, like Dairy Queen, yeah. but you know. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I didn't know it was Japanese. This is for me. I think that's everything, isn't it? Um, uh, pickles, no, cranberries. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this, Mom. Your Costco has so many more things than my Costco does. Cheese stuffed peppers in a jar. Pepperoncinis. Hmm. Pe Pepperoncinis. 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 He had them somewhere, and he said, these are way better than what you buy. What are these? <laughs> he liked the whole ones instead of the chiseled up ones. Oh, okay. So if and we I like the them, chopped ones better. We can, we can chop them for the cheese uh, ball, cheese yeah. ball though. Oh, and they're, they're sweetened. You see that? Oops. They're sweetened with juice, Mom, not with sugar. Oh. Read the, what do the ingredients say? Okay. Refined uh, sunflower oil used in processing. Cranberries, cane sugar, cranberries. Oh, maybe it's cranberry juice that's sweetened yes. in that's sweetened with sugar. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks well, good. Well, cane sugar. Versus beet sugar. Yeah, or high fructose. Yeah, corn. that's true. Way better. Oh wow, dried strawberries, I've never Look seen. Look at peaches. Yeah, peaches, I've never seen those Look before. Peaches. Or strawberries. I wonder if those are good. I've only ever seen freeze dried strawberries. Oh, they're soft in there. Interesting. Interesting. Well, they're all on closeout. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess they weren't very popular. <laughs> Your Costco has way more than mine does. Or maybe these, I just, oh, you like These are those? candy to me. And I'll tell you how you do it so you don't get your hands all sticky. You open the bag and you take a fork and you jam <laughs> it down in there and <laughs> they just come idea. out on the fork and they're not all over your hands. You ever reach That's inside hilarious. of one of those bags? It's a <laughs> sticky mess. That's hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I just don't walk in all the areas of my Costco. I just go in and I get the things I need versus today we're kind of perusing. Ooh. Oh, there's no line here. Oh man. Individually wrapped. Well, we're gonna do something similar to yeah. this. Only we're gonna put goat cheese, not a walnut. And well, it's sort of similar. The similarity is the date. Cause yeah. then we're gonna wrap it in there's bacon. Only one, <laughs> there's only one single ingredient that's the same. That's so funny. Okay, we're gonna check out and there's no line there. And then we're okay. going to run to Winco. They had everything on our list, and I think we didn't get anything that wasn't on the list. So, All right. how many times does that happen when you go to Costco? No. So Not now we're gonna often. get it loaded up, and then we're gonna head to Winco. And I don't think we have as much stuff to get at Winco, and then we get to go bake a carrot cake cheesecake. Down here. Oops. Well, I guess technically my mom got batteries that weren't on her list, but they were on sale, so. They were on my mental list. <laughs> mental list. They just got forgot to put on the Yeah, I use list. them all. I like my, my electric candle, battery powered candles, because we have such a long nighttime yeah. that I like the, the ambience of the candles. So I go through a couple of packs of those in the winter. We just got to Winco, and I think the majority of the things we need to get here are mostly just produce items that yeah, we couldn't get at things like uh, smaller amounts that we couldn't get, or just peppers and a lot of herbs. A lot yeah, of herbs. Produce mostly. Uh, frozen stuff, produce. Frozen stuff, produce, and some um, baking stuff, baking supplies. I was just looking, this caught the corner of my eye. 
these gingerbread houses are $8.98. If you don't want to make your own gingerbread house. <laughs> And they don't have enough candy on them, in my opinion. Oh, they have sriracha. You still have, oh, to yeah, go you... And you have to go and buy a bunch more candy. Yeah, if you buy those kits, they don't have enough candy. They have oh, sriracha here. Oh, they do have rooster sauce again. You might Limit have to... 12. Limit 12. <laughs> one case. Yeah. I'll get one for you and put it in your stocking. Thank you. Should we get one for Nathan, too? Uh, I don't know if he likes it. Sure. I think he does. I know we'll Dad you. likes the uh, chili paste. It's bad. Was it? Could you not get this either? No. Oh, you couldn't get this at all. Oh, good. At all. Well, I'm just going to have to buy two and put them in the pantry. Awesome. Put, I'll put them in pop up stocking. He's already got one from Sarah in his stocking. I think I forgot to mention that we're also making crab cakes and cranberry salsa. And so my mom is looking for a pepper for the crab cakes. And she's telling me that she read that if there's four bumps on the bottom of a pepper, that the pepper is supposed to be sweeter than if there's three bumps. And that at some point, we should do a side-by-side -side comparison to see if that is indeed the case. And so she always buys the four bump ones on the bottom, just in case it isn't. But have you guys all heard that? I thought that that was kind of interesting. So now we are on the hunt for arugula. The area where the arugula is supposed to be, there is no arugula to be found. We were able to find arugula slash spinach. And if that's all we could find, we were gonna go ahead and go with that. But then we were there so early, my mom saw that there was a cart with a bunch of boxes on it. And she thought that we should ask the produce guy if the arugula that we cannot find is actually in one of these boxes. And thankfully, see, this is where the arugula is supposed to be. There is no arugula. And thankfully, yes, there was indeed arugula in one of those boxes. And the produce man was very gracious and willing to open one of those boxes so that we could get our arugula for our potato salad. Friend, this would be good with spinach and arugula if that's all you can find, but the arugula was peppery and delicious and a great contrast to the sweet potato. Four dollars, a dollar fifty. Oh nice. We'll $1. peel it. Dollar <laughs> fifty. Just one parsley? Yes. One parsley? How many cilantros? Two? Uh, I think uh, just one. It oh, just, just one? It just in the, um, in the uh, cranberry. Cheesy potatoes is one of my favorite Christmas sides, and we are, are we doubling it, Mom? Yes. Yeah. How many people do we have? Uh, 22. 22? It was 24, but one couple were unable to come. Oh, okay. They had a conflict in holiday gatherings. I think online the cheesy potato recipe the same one we're going to make it's my aunt's it's basically the funeral potatoes yes. if you've seen the viral funeral potatoes we've been making it before it was viral yeah <laughs> yeah since i was a kid it's always been my absolute favorite with ham oh my goodness we got the sugar we need marshmallow cream chocolate pudding for the striped delight awesome instant okay two of these oh marshmallow cream cheese Marshmallow whip, cream cheese, and orange juice. Oh, that's what the orange juice is for? Yeah, that sounds really good. good. I've tried making the cheesy potatoes with homemade cream of chicken, and it's just not the same. No <laughs> yeah, so for Christmas, have to have the Campbell's and cream of chicken soup. 20, what that was 22 ounces. Oh, perfect. That's what we needed. Yep. Not very tall. Do you need help? <laughs> you got it? Got it. So now we've got everything we need from Winco. We are going to go check out and then we're going to go check make our the cake. List. Let me oh, check yeah, the probably list. double check it would be good. Produce. There's a couple things Produce on the list go. that I have at my house. So I'm going to my mom just text them, those items to we me. We didn't get cornflakes. Oh, yeah, we need cornflakes. We went by the bulk and we didn't get it. So my mom will text me. She texts me those three items, pecans, Italian uh, sausage, pine nuts, pine nuts. And we'll go get cornflakes in the bulk because I don't need a whole box. No. I don't need a whole box, just five cups. That's to top the cheesy potatoes. And so we'll grab the cornflakes and then we will go make the cake. Desserts. No pan. 
Is that probably one cup worth? Is that it? Yeah, probably. We'll just use, does that look like good? Yeah. We'll just use all that. Cream cheese, whipping cream, sour cream, sugar. We just got back from Costco and you all saw, I think everything we got. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick things directly into my mom's fridge. And then we're gonna make the cake. No need to bring all this stuff inside and then bring it back out here. Mom, do you have eggs inside or do we need some of those for the cake? Pardon me? Do we need any eggs for the cake or do you have- I have a, um, a half a carton in the house. Okay. Oh, we need cream cheese, so I'll hand you that because yeah. we'll need that. And then and everything. Butter. Butter? You need that too? Probably. I don't think so. It calls for oil. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, I'll take the potatoes in. We'll just get all this inside. Is that everything out of the car? I'm going to go look. Okay. The big, big cooking is going to be tomorrow, but we figured cake is one of those things that easily you can make a few days in advance and have that ready for the party. We're just about to get started on this cake and I wanted to share with you something real quick. So a few of you follow my dad's YouTube channel. He has a daily devotional channel. I can link it down below. And he just came out with his Be With Jesus 365 daily devotional book. I am so incredibly proud of him. He doesn't know I'm telling you all this. So I'm gonna link this along with his channel down below. He is here, but he is napping. So this is the first time I'm seeing it and it is absolutely beautiful. So if you're interested in it, it will be linked down below. Now we're gonna get started on this cake. First thing I need to do is wash and shred three cups of carrots. My mom is gonna grab the recipe so that we can get started on this carrot cake cheesecake. But I did wanna mention, she just had a party with about how many people do you have, like 25 people? Yeah. So about the same as what we're having this weekend. And instead of putting all of her serving dishes and things away and then needing to get them back out again, she just left them out because we're gonna be making probably about half or so, would you say, of the same recipes Correct. you made before? And I made a half again different ones. Okay. So I might as well go ahead and I'm gonna start washing and shredding these carrots because I know that we need at least three cups of these. It's been so fun experimenting with these new recipes and making things that are just completely seem very complicated and difficult and which is a cake that has a cheesecake in the middle and it really is very very easy and it comes across as so incredibly impressive and I'm really excited to try this variation using carrots and carrot cake as opposed to using chocolate cake. The chocolate cake that was filled with a cheesecake was probably the best dessert I have ever made in my entire life. And I love carrot cake, so I'm really excited to see how this version turns out as opposed to using the chocolate cake. So I'm gonna get three cups shredded up. We just got off the phone with my sister. She is the one making the main dish, the braised beef. And she's also making some breads and some different, I think she's making four different things. And she just went shopping on her lunch break. And so she went shopping, we went shopping, and then we are making crab cakes. And my, my sister's husband is an avid fisherman. And so they have fresh crab, well it's frozen, fresh frozen crab that he caught. When did he catch that? We did oh. it on a summer camp out. And, Dungeness um, crab. Yes. Uh, my daughter-in-law and I picked it all, and there must have been, well, it was limit with six people on the boat. How many so, is the limit, like six crabs each? It seemed like there was about 40 crabs we oh, picked. Oh, wow. That's, that's it was a, lot. a lot of work. <laughs> that's why hey, I the love crabbing. Is disposable dollar store place, uh, tablecloths. Oh, that's a good idea. And then when you're done, you just roll the whole thing up. So it's frozen right now. She was supposed to have it out on her front porch for me to pick up on the way here because I dropped off some chuck roast for her, but she forgot. So we were just making sure that when I come here tomorrow on my way, she'll have it out for me and I'll be able to pick it up. So I'm grating three cups of carrot. I am at two cups right now. My mom is getting out all of the ingredients for the cake and then we can mix it up. I 
And I got Penzi cinnamon now from awesome. our last trip. Yeah, I did not use my Penzi cinnamon when I made the Christmas tree ornaments. Oh, don't. Yeah. Get no. the cinnamon out of the bin at yeah. Costco. Yeah. <laughs> I mean at Winco. Yeah. I found the recipe for the cheesecake and we do need these cream cheese blocks to be not so cold. We just bought these, so they're very cold. So I am gonna actually put them on this plate and pop them in the microwave for about 30 seconds just so that they can warm up just a little bit and they'll mix into the cheesecake batter a little bit better. Got my cream cheese here. I'm gonna add that. This portion comes together super quickly and my mom already prepared the cake pan. So that's half the work right there. So my mom's gonna make the carrot cake while I make the cheesecake portion. Carrot cake, isn't that yours and dad's favorite cake? That's dad's absolute dad's favorite, favorite cake. What's your favorite cake? Do you have a favorite? A banana. Oh, and I, have made I didn't that, know that. I have made that carrot cake recipe more than once for weddings. Oh yeah. I made it for a friend's wedding too, actually. So this is cornstarch, so a quarter cup of cornstarch oh, going in. I'm trying to think of what dry ingredients I can add. This, this, like I said, it comes together really quickly. You just add everything into the mixer. And as long as the cream cheese is soft, it comes together really quickly. My mom does the same thing as I do, is she likes to keep measuring spoons in her. Two cups of flour. Measuring. Uh, containers. Yes. Oh wait. And a scoop. Okay. Sugar. The only other thing we need is three quarters of a cup Two and a half of flour. cream. I like a scoop so that I am not packing my flour. Oh mom, I have a, a scale to give to you too. Oh, yeah. how fun. Because I bought myself a new one. And that's it. Just, oh, I did add salt last time too, I think. I got salt here. You got salt? Yeah. It's in the jar. And you know what I might add too? The recipe doesn't call for it, but I think I'm gonna add some vanilla. I'm just gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt, hardly any at all. Vanilla. Thank you. And I'll probably add a whole teaspoon of vanilla. These canisters that are square. Oh yeah. My girls got these for me for Mother's Day or my birthday or something. And I love them. They fit Christmas. in my cupboard. Yeah, Christmas. They fit in my cupboard doors, my cabinets so much better. And you can put a whole one cup in it and you're not fighting it. My mom used to yes. use old pickle jars. And so to get a cup measure, you kind of had to do the side wiggle. And so love these. I could link those down below for you if you're interested in those. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on and beat this so until it's really smooth. So we're gonna cook this in the bain marie and I did triple layer this time, so hopefully I don't get any seekage, leakage of foil, of water. This is gonna take at least an hour to cook. I think this might be thicker than the recipe. Might be a smaller pan. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. Lovely. If you have never grated nutmeg, it'll take your baking to another level. The intensity of the flavor with fresh grated nutmeg is just amazing. Um, and I always do more than it says, but you just get, you can do this or you can use one of the uh, planers that you do zest zesting. Yeah. Same idea. But someone gave me these little tiny, tiny graters <laughs> in a Christmas gift box. It and it's Paula. perfect, was it Paula? And I, I just so. put it in a little dish of my nutmegs 
Of course, you can't grate them all down because you'd sacrifice your fingers. But it, can you just smell that? Isn't that amazing? I love nutmeg. It's worth it. I love it's nutmeg. worth it. It doesn't take very long. I smuggled nutmeg back from Jamaica. <laughs> Josh and I went on vacation <laughs> and I bought these five nutmegs for a dollar. We were at a choc not chocolate, a coffee farm up in the mountains. And a man was just selling nutmeg out of his coat pocket. And I brought it back. You could have put it in everybody's stocking. <laughs> nutmeg is not cheap, so a dollar for five was like, oh, I should have bought like a hundred of them. But bought his whole his old truckload. Yeah. Because nutmeg is grown in Jamaica. Okay, whisk together. You need eggs, mom. Do you need me to go outside and get eggs? Do you uh, need we four need... eggs. Oh, I use the, rest the three. Of the yes. Yeah, okay, I'll go get yes. eggs. Now my brown sugar wasn't uh, completely soft. Uh, I crumbled it like this in my hand because there was some lumps. And I'm whisking the dry ingredients here together. And I see a few more. And what I'll do is I'll just pull them out and give them a little pinch. They're not rock hard, but it would, it would make a too sweet of a cavity in my cake if I left them whole, these lumps like this, there would be almost be a little candied section in the, in the cake itself. The recipe calls for vegetable oil. I don't have any. I checked with Becky. This is a very light, light olive oil. It's almost tasteless. It'll be fine. So I think it'll be fine with the amount of nutmeg and cinnamon and carrots in here. We won't be able to tell the difference. You wouldn't want to use an extra virgin olive oil if you're going to substitute olive oil for vegetable oil, but just a plain light olive oil will be fine. Can Don't... you cut that in half so it doesn't yeah. run down? This therapy. recipe calls for butter and, Woo! shoot. I'm going to go wash this butter. <laughs> butter and oil. You probably put the eggs in. Put the eggs Let me in. see how many eggs. Four, I think. Do you have a Danish whisk, Mom? Uh, yes, I do. I do, I do. You gave me one. Oh, did I give it to you? Yep. Might and you know what I used it for the other day? What? I made those taco bites oh, with yeah. the um, wonton papers, and my fingernails were too long. I couldn't push it into the muffin tin mm -hmm. because I was poking holes in it. So I used that. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, it worked really well. And the three cups of carrots. And that's it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, good. I'll get a bigger bag. They'll love it. My mom keeps eggshells for me to give to my chickens. They're not laying right now, so it's still good to give them eggshells for calcium because they're molting, which means they're getting all new feathers, which can take a lot of energy for them. And it already has baking powder, baking soda, yep. and all that stuff. Yep. So that was Dry it. Dry ingredients, yep. Oh, okay. No milk or anything? Uh, let me read down the list. Okay. The okay. last thing I put Flour, in. Flour, sugar, brown sugar, baking soda, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, nutmeg, one cup of oil, half a cup of oil, four eggs, or half a cup of butter, a tablespoon of vanilla, three cups of carrots. Oh. I guess it's probably not the best idea to have two different people start and finish a recipe. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this in the cake pans. This recipe calls for nuts, but we're gonna go ahead and leave the nuts out just because we know that most of the people The sons-in-law. <laughs> yes, they don't like nuts. So we cater to that preference. This is gonna bake up a lot quicker, I think, than the cheesecake. Okay, our, oh, look at that, I'll have to sample it. <laughs> All right, these are ready to go in the oven. Oh, that's really good. Is it the cheesecake batter good? Mm-hmm. The cook gets to sample. <laughs> All right, so now we get to tidy up and kind of, we'll probably make a little bit of a game plan for tomorrow because our components are in the oven. We're gonna bake these until they're fully cooked and then let them cool on the counter, wrap them up. Are you gonna freeze the cake? I usually do. 
the directions said you can make it ahead, wrap it in saran and leave it out. I think we should but probably freeze it. I always freeze it because then it eliminates the crumb coat stage. Yeah. Um, and the cheesecake will be fine in the refrigerator for two days. So today's Friday. Tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to do all the major food prep. And then Sunday, no, Saturday. No, today's Thursday. Today's Thursday. Today's Thursday. <laughs> Feels like a Friday. Friday, we're going to do the food prep, and the party's on Saturday. On Saturday. Yeah. And we will, my preference would be to assemble the cake on Saturday. Oh, yeah, definitely. And put it back in the refrigerator. Yeah, we can do that. So I'll see you back here when we get here tomorrow morning. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you enjoyed this, we can pop a couple of our other videos with me and my mom shopping and cooking and doing all the things there. You can go enjoy between now and my next upload. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. And we can't wait to see you next time. See you in the morning. This is Tasty. <laughs> Bye, friend.